Rumors of the upcoming iPhone 12 series of phones have been floating around for months now, and a couple of recent reports have all but confirmed Apple's plans to release four new iPhones in the fall of this year. Hello guys, my name is Vic with Phone Arena, and we created these concept renders to showcase what the next iPhone design could look like, and this is your first look. This new iPhone style will be used on at least two of the four upcoming iPhones, particularly the higher-end models, while it's not clear whether the other two will adopt the new style or stick with the current design. So let's quickly go through the whole upcoming iPhone 12 family. Four phones, all of them finally with beautiful OLED screens that have deeper blacks and more vibrant colors than traditional LCD displays. Now to remind you, the iPhone 11 and iPhone 10 are used to use the LCD displays and now we're switching to an all OLED lineup. The big news, however, in terms of just size, is that one of these iPhones will be a super compact device, and with just a 5.4 inch screen, it will be even smaller than the current iPhone 11 Pro, which has a 5.8 inch display. Let's call this one the iPhone 12 mini. And then you have two different phones with the same size, 6.1 inch screen. We will call one the iPhone 12 and the other the iPhone 12 Pro, since that one will have a better camera. And finally, you have one XL-sized iPhone 12 Pro Max with a 6.7-inch screen, a slightly bit larger side than the 6.5-inch screen used on the current iPhone 11 Pro Max. Two of these phones, the iPhone 12 mini and the iPhone 12, will be priced more affordably and will come with two cameras on the back, the wide and the ultra-wide one. The other two, the Pro models, will be the premium ones. Those will have a triple camera setup, with the third lens being the familiar 2x zoom telephoto one that is also used for portraits. But also, they will come with the new 3D LiDAR system. LiDAR just recently made its debut on the iPad Pro, and it works by radiating beams of infrared light that is invisible to the human eye, but not to our camera, and it creates a sort of a web that is projected onto nearby surfaces. It's not quite as dense as Face ID, which takes thousands of little dots and projects them onto your face, but this one on the LiDAR sensor is spreading to as far as 16 feet, and the main use is also different, it's augmented reality. Imagine being able to make a detailed map of your apartment or measure with great precision objects by just pointing the camera at them. This will open a brand new horizon for augmented reality and yes, also for augmented reality games too. And we can't wait to see it. We've already tried it on the iPad, looks very promising. And going back to the whole iPhone 12 family, another neat change is the smaller size of that infamous notch. Apple is allegedly planning to remove it completely in the future, but even this year, users are likely to get a smaller and less distracting notch, which is always nice, while still retaining that Face ID 3D scanning functionality. Now, under the hood, the brand new Apple A14 chip will power the show, and this time, it will bring not only the usual bump in speed, but it will also specialize in augmented reality and faster processing of artificial intelligence or AI tasks. Now, all of the new iPhones will also come with iOS 14. That could finally spice up that traditional look of the system with widgets and more fun wallpapers that will dynamically adjust to day and night. Apple is also working on a new version of the budget $300 iPad and a bunch of other gadgets, including a new, smaller and cheaper version of the HomePod speaker. The rumors say that it will be half the size of the original speaker and also, of course, more affordable so it can better compete against other speakers. As well, as there's also something brand new here that Apple is doing, Air Tags. Those will be shaped like a hockey puck and will come bundled with a leather sleeve and a keychain so you can attach them to anything really, but if you're wondering what's their use, think of them as something that will tell you where you left your keys or wallet. Now, if Apple prices them reasonably and we expect those to be affordable, we won't be surprised to see them everywhere as soon as they launch. And in addition to that, Apple is also working on a refresh to the familiar MacBook Pro, the 13-inch version, the Apple TV and iMac, so it has plenty in store for the future. And as for the whole coronavirus situation, it seems that Apple's suppliers in Asia have mostly been able to resume work and Apple engineers are rumored to fly to China in May to finalize the product designs for the upcoming iPhone 12 family and other products. Still, such a health crisis can have unforeseen circumstances and Apple's plans might still change. 
And this rounds up our summary of everything we know about the upcoming iPhone 12 family. We hope you enjoyed watching this. We hope you stay at home, stay safe during these tough times. My name is Vic, this is Phone Arena. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Phone Arena, here on YouTube, and also visit our website at www.phonearena.com for more news, leaks, rumors, everything in between about tech. It was my pleasure talking to you, and I'll see you in the next one.